Sister Wives. I believe David Woolley's a clout chaser. Christine Brown shouldn't trust him so much. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my update gossip channel. I'm left wondering if David Woolley married Christine Brown for the right reasons now that he's set to appear in Sister Wives season 19. I had grown tired of watching Cody Brown belittle his three wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown, on television every year. I wished the women could assert themselves and break free from him for good. My wish came true in 2021 when Christine took action and exited the polygamous relationship. This decision motivated other sister wives, Janelle and Mary, to leave the plural marriage while they could. When Christine left Cody, I expected her to focus on her family and herself. However, the Utah native surprised me by returning to the dating scene and giving romance one final chance. She found David, who didn't care much about her controversial past and was more interested in building a future with her. Christine and David announced their engagement just a few months after starting their relationship. The couple didn't wait long and tied the knot in a sister wives special, becoming more than just soulmates. I do believe David cares about Christine, but some of his actions suggest he may enjoy fame too much. David's relationship with Christine brought him fame, transforming him into someone who craved attention. Shortly after meeting Christine, David created an Instagram page and began posting numerous photos with her, quickly gaining nearly 130k followers. Now David is starring as one of the cast members in Sister Wives Season 19, leading me to believe his seriousness about Christine may be influenced by the additional benefits he has gained. David's desire for fame may be driven by more than just seeking attention. I think he wants to capitalize on his popularity and potentially make money from his relationship with Christine. David has amassed over 100k Instagram followers, enabling him to connect with fans and promote himself. Additionally, he has made appearances in special episodes about his marriage, which would have likely earned him some income. It's reasonable to assume that David will make significant money by appearing on Sister Wives. This situation leads me to question whether his love for Christine is primarily motivated by financial gain. Lately, I have found David's relationship with Christine to be quite puzzling. Still, I believe David adores his wife and is more attentive to her than Cody ever was. My theory is David and Christine are working together to maintain her reality TV fame and gain clout together. They likely share entertaining content online and capitalize on showcasing their relationship while living a joyful life. I suspect Christine may be behind David's social media presence and inclusion in the show. The Sister Wives star hopes to portray her marriage with David as ideal to receive admiration and views. After she married Cody Brown in Sister Wives Season 1, Robin Brown changed the Brown family's dynamic. When the show premiered, Cody was in a polygamous marriage with Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown. Together, they had 13 children. Robin was introduced in season 1 as Cody's new girlfriend, and she and Cody were spiritually married. At the end of the season, Robin was the first new wife to join the Brown family in 16 years. She entered a well-established family dynamic, and she initially appeared to fit in seamlessly. Sister Wives centers around the relationships between Cody's wives. Although there were rough patches, Cody's four wives worked hard to build a united family. However, Cody's marriages changed over the course of the show. He became closer to Robin and more distant from Mary, Janelle, and Christine. As Cody settled into a comfortable routine with Robin, his three other marriages ended between 2021 and 2023. Robin has shouldered much of the blame for the dissolution of the polygamous family. In retrospect, there were many signs along the way that her addition to the family marked the beginning of the end. When viewers were introduced to sister wives Christine Brown, Cody's third wife, she was pregnant with her sixth child. Christine and Cody were expecting a daughter they planned to name truly Grace Brown. Christine took on the bulk of the domestic work for Cody's family. While Janelle worked outside the home, Christine was primarily responsible for homeschooling and cooking. This would be a massive undertaking for anybody, let alone somebody who was heavily pregnant. As Christine's due date neared, Cody was distracted by courting Robin. Robin lived several hours away, 
causing Cody to leave Christine alone for days at a time while he was with Robin. When Christine was in the hospital preparing to deliver Truly, Cody lingered as he said goodbye to Robin. This was viewer's first glimpse of Cody's preferential treatment of Robin. Despite Christine needing Cody, his attention was on Robin. Cody's family was in a rough financial position in Sister Wives' early seasons. Mary, Janelle, and Christine had all filed for bankruptcy prior to appearing on the show. With only Cody and Janelle working full-time, it was incredibly difficult to provide for such a large family. Robin's addition to the family didn't help their financial position. Robin had three children from her previous marriage. She didn't have a job and relied on Cody and his wives to finance her rent and bills. When Robin announced she was pregnant, her sister wives and the older children were in disbelief. They were already struggling financially, and it didn't seem appropriate to add another child to the mix. Robin was insulted by the cold reception to her pregnancy and felt the family was unsupportive. Robin brought her own debt into the family as well. When they moved to Las Vegas, Cody and his wives purchased four adjacent plots of land on a cul-de-sac. Their dream of building new homes was left hanging in the balance when Robin revealed the extent of her debt. She owed over $30,000. Cody, Mary, Janelle, and Christine were forced to pay off Robin's debt to move forward with the construction, further adding to the families. Financial strain. Plural marriage requires a huge amount of coordination and teamwork. When joining a well-established family, it was crucial for Robin to respect the existing rules and boundaries. Yet her marriage to Cody began on uneven ground. The first major offense was when Cody helped Robin pick out her wedding dress. Cody's other wives were floored by this revelation, particularly Christine. Cody had not picked out any of his other wives' dresses, and they felt like he was already putting Robin on a pedestal. Cody and Robin kissed before marriage, which isn't something he had done with his other wives. The Browns were members of the Apostolic United Brethren, an offshoot of the Mormon Church. They practiced a conservative lifestyle. Cody and Robin kissed before marriage, which isn't something he had done with his other wives. Robin also demanded equal time with Cody, even before they were married. Cody began dividing his time between four women instead of three. This upset his other wives, who had their own children and households to manage. It wasn't considered appropriate for Cody to be spending so much time with Robin prior to marriage, but the passive-aggressive diva Robin didn't consider her sister wives' feelings. Once Robin was integrated into the family, there was a noticeable shift. She took normal sibling arguments personally and claimed her children were not being accepted, shaming her sister wives' parenting. Because the two children Robin and Cody had together were the youngest in the family, Robin expected Cody to spend extra time with her. This created a disproportionate rotation that left Mary, Janelle, and Christine spending less time with Cody. Cody's favoritism of Robin was most noticeable when the family moved from Las Vegas to Flagstaff, Arizona. Robin was overwhelmed by the move and needed the entire family to help her. Once in Flagstaff, she wanted a large home for her five growing children. Robin ended up purchasing a massive house, which required family funds that should have been put toward developing the family's vacant land. Although Robin has it easy, she recently told people that her marriage is, sometimes. Robin always claimed to value her relationships with her sister wives. She was devastated when Cody's marriages ended, forcing her to give up her dream of them all growing old together. However, Robin was responsible for the skewed dynamic that ultimately tore the sister wives family apart. She didn't respect Cody's other marriages, and by expecting to be prioritized, she created irreparable distance between Cody and his other spouses. Sister Wives has always been an interesting show to watch, considering the dynamics of the Brown family. Sadly, one of the wives had the upper hand in almost every situation, and so did her kids. Well, it was none other than Robin Brown. Cody's bias towards her was so strong that it cost him three of his other marriages. Cody has been quite protective of his fourth wife and her kids. In fact, many viewers feel that Cody and Robin are overprotective of their kids and shield them from the bitter truths of the world. But it seems like some of their kids are getting out of that trance and choosing their individuality and freedom. One of them is Aurora Brown. 
Rumor has it that she hasn't been living with her parents Cody and Robin. Sister wives, fans gather proof that Aurora has moved away from Cody and Robin's residence. Cody and Robin appeared to be the strongest pair in Sister Wives. But they have been struggling, it seems. The trailer featured many heated moments between them. Following this, they also decided to sell their Flagstaff mansion. No one knows yet where they are moving to. But after getting a glimpse of their home, they feel some of their kids have moved out already. A Reddit user revealed how they pursued Cody and Robin's listing. Out of the five bedrooms, they could recognize Cody and Robin's room. Two other rooms belong to kids, i.e., Solomon and Ariella. While the fourth one looked like a guest room, but the last room only had plants. It didn't look like a habitable bedroom for a person as it had no windows. Because of this theory, they began to believe that Robin's eldest daughter, Aurora, may have moved out. But there is no confirmation about it. Some feel that she may have gotten accepted to a state university out of Flagstaff and begun her new life. Could it be possible that Robin and Cody are willing to uproot their life in Arizona for their daughter? They did so for Dayton, as well. Sister wives, Dayton is no longer in the RV. Moved out like his sister. Many Brown family members like spilling the tea about their own brood. Well, Christine's son Peden is one of them. He appeared in an interview where he confirmed that Dayton, i.e., Robin's eldest son, had moved out of their house. But he was still close by as he had only moved into an RV near their Flagstaff mansion. Now that Robin and Cody are selling the house, Sister Wives fans have also wondered about their kids' whereabouts. The same Redditor mentioned how there wasn't an RV while they were looking at the property listing. It's been making viewers wonder if Dayton also accompanied his sister Aurora when leaving their parents' nest. However, as mentioned above, neither Aurora nor Dayton has spoken up about this matter. There is no confirmation about either of these speculations. Sister Wives has been on air for more than a decade. Despite sharing all aspects of their lives, Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin still have some parts they don't want people to know of. But the audience is quite sharp, and thanks to their internet deep diving skills, nothing really stays hidden from them. Fans know that Robin was previously married before Cody, but Robin was earlier the wife of David Preston Jessup, and they eventually parted ways. What she didn't want viewers to know was that he had been diagnosed with a rare kind of cancer. His family has been raising money to afford chemotherapy for him. It's been a while since viewers got an update about his health. So, how is David? Sister wives, is David Jessup doing well after cancer diagnosis? When Robin Brown first appeared on Sister Wives, she mentioned how it was her second marriage with Cody. Earlier, David Preston Jessup was her husband, and she has maintained that he was abusive towards her and her kids. But after looking at Robin faking her tears to manipulate the situation, fans hardly believe her side of things. Last year, some Sister Wives fans got the latest details about Robin's ex-husband David. Someone found a GoFundMe where a family member was urging viewers to donate money for his chemotherapy. Sadly, he has chronic myeloid leukemia. As regular chemotherapy wasn't working on him, he had to switch to chemo pills that the insurance wasn't covering. But as per Preston's last GoFundMe update from a week ago, he seems to be doing well. A Redditor shared this on the platform while saying he was somewhat stable. His blood work and numbers have started to look good, no matter how adverse his condition was during his initial diagnosis. Sister Wives fans took a sigh of relief at this good news. Sister Wives, is Robin still keeping her kids? Away from David Jessup, many Sister Wives fans had taken to Reddit to talk about Robin's dynamics with her ex-husband after his cancer diagnosis. Many agreed that no matter what the nature of their relationship is, the star should let her kids meet her biological dad as time ticks. However, as Robin has a tendency to shield her kids, Many believe she might not have told them about this. The whole fanbase has been bashing Robin for refraining from addressing this matter. They believe that someone as toxic as her is probably not at all bothered and will go on believing the narrative in her head no matter how intense this case is. Some also wondered if Robin's kids would rebel against her to meet David Jessup. 
But this seems like an unlikely possibility as most viewers feel Robin's kids are brainwashed too hard by her and appear quite submissive. There were rumors about Dayton Treen to meet his father, but there has been no update about it since then. Janelle. Brown is all set to build a new life in North Carolina. She changed the way she lived completely after her son Garrison's death. The Sister Wives star took things into her own hands for the positive changes in her life. Janelle wanted to be more available and closer to her remaining kids. She started traveling more and went on new adventures to live life to the fullest. The reality TV star has not lived in her Flagstaff home much since her son's passing. Janelle went to North Carolina to keep herself busy with Maddie's children. She decided to spend most of her time in NC this year. Her youngest daughter, Savannah, has also moved to Greenville to study. Hence, she could easily travel to meet her from Maddie's home. The reality TV star recently shared a glimpse of her new life in a beach house. Sister Wives, Janelle teases her fans about her new life in North Carolina. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown has been quite excited about her new life in North Carolina. She has already spent several months at Maddie's place, but the TLC star has made numerous plans to spend time with her grandchildren. Janelle spent a lot of time gardening in the new humid environment, and she was quite impressed with the amazing results. The reality TV star has also traveled a lot due to Savannah's relocation. Janelle has started loving her nomadic life. Previously, she informed her fans about how much she has traveled this year. She admitted her love for the cross-country drive. The 55-year-old expressed how much she has started to love the cross-country food. Janelle has also decided to expand her horizons to experiment with new things other than work. Recently, she informed her fans about her new beach house. The TLC star recorded a video of her new place. Janelle flaunted the lavish home that she had rented for a fun time. She recorded everything, including the huge living area, a small dining area, and a kitchen. Moreover, the TLC star didn't reveal if she was alone for the weekend or with her children. Janelle said, sitting on one of the sun porches at this amazing beach house we rented for the weekend. She was excited for a good time at the beach. Further, the reality TV star was sure that it would be a great weekend. Sister Wives, Janelle brushes up her cooking skills with professional classes. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown has many plans to bring some fun to her boring life. Ever since she moved to North Carolina, she has been experimenting with new things. The reality TV star often shares her new experiences in the new place. Recently, Janelle shared all the fun moments of her latest cooking class. She recorded her experience of making homemade butter in minutes. Janelle wrote, The local coffee shop I love here in NC offers a fun selection of classes. Hence, she took the class to make homemade butter in the mixer. The TLC star continued, experimented with putting herbs into one of the batches I made. Moreover, Janelle revealed her plans to experiment more with the recipe this fall. Since her divorce from Cody, Sister Wives star Mary Brown has been focusing on keeping to herself. The 53-year-old star's decision to remain in solitude is not surprising. Even during her time residing in the Brown family household, Mary never fit in with her fellow wives or the patriarch himself. She has always been a lone wolf with unique morals and aspirations. Among them, Lizzie's heritage and remains close to her heart. Recently, the reality star made an emotional post announcing the closing of her B&B &B in Utah. She also detailed the shocking reason behind such a drastic move. Now, fans believe that this could potentially land Mary a spin-off opportunity. So, is a new spin-off special based on Mary's in on the horizon? Let's find out. Sister Wives, Mary Brown could land a spin-off featuring Lizzie's Heritage Inn. Sister Wives star Mary Brown recently took to Instagram to pen a heartbreaking announcement about the closing of her Utah B&B called Lizzie's Heritage Inn. Interestingly, the B&B is a family business, originally owned by Mary's great-great-grandmother. Mary bought the property in December 2017 to continue her family's legacy. At that time, she requested Cody and the Sister Wives for funds. However, both parties refused to help her. Ultimately, she arranged capital on her own. 
bringing the property back into the family. Since then, Mary has been taking care of her business along with the help of her best friend, Jen Sullivan. Recently, she announced on Instagram that she would be shutting down the B&B. In the caption, Mary explained that the 154-year-old Lizzie's heritage in needed renovations. The Sister Wives star highlighted that she is unsure when the property will reopen as it will majorly depend on the time the makeover takes. Following the news of Mary's Inn, fans took to Reddit to share their thoughts with many pushing the idea of a spin-off. Mary's spin-off, Heritage Inn Restoration, one fan noted. Fans flooded the replies, stating they were excited to watch a special based on Lizzie's Heritage Inn and its restoration. Now, there is no doubt that Mary is a bigger star than ever. Moreover, Sister Wives has skyrocketing popularity. It seems Mary's Inn does pose as a successful spin-off opportunity. Fans will also get to see how she manages her business. Moreover, Jen, another fan favorite, will also make an appearance. At the time of writing, TLC has not announced any plans to document the inn's restorations. However, an announcement in the near future could be possible. The latest Sister Wives trailer shows Mary deciding to end things with Cody. She also plans to move to Utah with her children. During a conversation with Cody, Mary states, I'm not your wife anymore. The sentence appears to trigger Cody, who fires back, saying, it's not divorce that sucks, it's marrying the wrong person. In a private confessional, Mary confronts Cody's harsh remark. What sucks is marrying the wrong person and not having the decency to tell her until 32 years later, she says. Their conversation escalates with Cody calling his relationship with Mary, confusing, from the start. Mary appears to have had enough of her ex-husband as she finally calls him out. As far as how she sees the relationship with Cody Brown and his fourth wife, Mary said it's solid. And she all but guarantees Cody won't be looking to replace any of the wives who jumped ship. Mary and Robin tell two different stories. When Mary Brown was asked about Robin entering the family, she answered one way. But this contradicts what the youngest sister wives bride had said previously. So, this could be a mistake on Mary Brown's part. Or it might be her way of softening the negative comments. Maybe to stave off any more bashing about Robin's agenda for coming into this family. Rachel Yucatel, the woman interviewing Mary, asked if wife number four knew about the sister wives show when first dating the shared husband. Mary said no, this happened after Robin agreed to marry into the family. For years, fans pelted the youngest wife with comments about having a few hidden agendas when marrying into the sister wives family. One of them was a chance to be a TV star. Still, Mary said Robin agreed to marry into the family before they knew about sister wives. But Robin said in the book The Five Spouses Pen that Cody told her about sister wives when they started dating. She said in the book that she thought at the time it was only his wishful thinking. So, according to what Robin Brown reported, she did know about the show before saying she'd marry the man with the ringlets. Sister wives, forgetfulness or caretaker. It was a long time ago, so Mary. Brown could have forgotten just when Robin learned about the show. Or maybe Mary was attempting to smooth over those comments that suggest the fame lured Robin. While Mary Brown is kind about this, Another member of the Sister Wives family, Peden Brown, once said Robin found someone to take care of her and her three kids. This is his perception of why she married his father. The first time she met the entire family, she drove there on borrowed money for gas. She was flat broke. Robin revealed this herself in that book. So, it looks like Mary Brown may still protect Robin Brown's image today, or she just forgot the timeline for wife number four entering the family. Again, it was a long time ago, back when the TLC series was still on the drawing board. Sister Wives star Mary Brown's latest interview dropped this week, and she had a few things to say about her celebrity co-wives from the TLC series. In this interview, fans learned something new about Mary's co-wives, Janelle Brown and Christine Brown. Sister Wives, Mary Brown offers insight to new wife process. Mary Brown appears in a new interview on Misunderstood with Rachel when she visited Florida recently for business. Sister Wives fans' comments indicated that they thought Rachel Yucatel did a great job covering many aspects of Mary's life. 
But what veteran fans might find interesting is info Mary offered up that isn't widely known. Rachel wanted Mary to explain the process of bringing a new wife into the family. Mary explained what most Sister Wives viewers already know. The prospective new wife courts the family. But then she got further into this, and some new info surfaced about the Brown family mishaps with new wife possibilities. Mary describes prospective wife mismatch process. From watching the Sister Wives series, most fans didn't know that before Robin Brown joined the family, there were other possible brides for Cody Brown. The book, The Spouse's Pen tells the story of the bride who would have become the second wife of the Sister Wives family. But this is not that story. What Mary Brown describes, suggests that these incidents came much later, after Cody had three wives in the family. Instead, this is about a couple of women, who would have become wife number four, instead of Robin. When Rachel asks what happens if the prospective bride is not a good match for the other wives, Mary offers more details. She describes how Christine Brown prides herself on this story. She said Christine likes to tell the story of how she ran a couple of prospects off. But she didn't elaborate on these incidents. So, this suggests that before Robin, a few women felt the wrath of Christine. Because they always said four wives were enough, this likely happened before Robin came into the picture. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown and Christine Brown, who knew? When Rachel asked Mary Brown about Christine and Janelle, Brown's close friendship, she said it was a surprise, but a happy one. She revealed that these two women were not close during the years spent as Cody's wives. This is a new development. This close friendship bloomed as they severed their ties with their shared husband. And while Mary Brown is happy to see this, it came as a surprise to her. As far as Mary and the other women she called her sister wives for decades go, they are not close. Mary Brown said she remains cordial when they see each other, but she's not reaching out for a relationship with any of them. This includes Cody, as that ship has sailed for the TLC celebrity. Sister Wives star Mary Brown reveals a new interview about to debut, in which she talks about what's going on in her life, including dating, and real-time news about the TLC series. Mary has been quiet on social media lately, so her fans can't wait to hear what she reveals. Sister Wives, Mary Brown has more to say. Mary Brown, told the Sister Wives fans last season that she has much more to say. So, when she sits down for an interview on Misunderstood with Rachel, we hear about it. Mary must be happy with this interview, as she's advertising it on her social media site. Posted at the end of this article, you will find where to watch this, along with the time, and date it drops. In the photo above, the original Sister Wives matriarch, Mary, prepares for this interview with Rachel Uchidal. Mary offers, another tell-all. A lot has changed for this Sister Wives celebrity since we last saw her on the series. When season 19 rolls out, you can expect it to look different from the previous 18 seasons. At the close of the previous season, Christine Brown was not interested in getting together with anybody from the polygamous family, only Janelle Brown and the kids. Well, that changed as in season 19, her new husband, David Woolley is at the same event with Cody Brown a few times. So, Fans want to see where Mary Brown stands on family time. In this new interview, Mary Brown talks about dating. Her first public reveal of a boyfriend, Amos Andrews, was likely premature on Mary's part. As soon as she introduced him to the Sister Wives fans, all kinds of negative blurbs about this guy surfaced online. This included accusations of him using Mary for her fame. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.